Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Pokemon. I'm here with Zen. Hello. And we're here to do our Safari Zone special where everyone's going to be, we're going to go into the Safari Zone looking for friends. And then also, while we're since we're going to be trying hard to looking for friends, as we find other people, we'll name them after everyone who said they would like to be a Pokemon in this. So we'll see Which how much. It was a decent amount of people. It was actually pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. We got nice. more interest than I thought. You never know unless you ask, you know what I mean? Who doesn't like to be uh, named after a Pokemon? But first things first, um, I'm going to evolve uh, Common Sore. Because while I, was was good. while I was leveling up everyone, I realized that he's the only one who has not evolved to his final form. So that's very tough when I'm trying to level everyone to be like at a good level. And all gym leaders going forward are going to be at like uh, level 50. <laughs> yes which is bad yeah so here you go common is finally in his final form of venusaur venusaur i thought it was v no it's venusaur okay i don't know why the spelling of it there made it look like venu well because it is i mean it's not pronounced venu but it's spelled venu really v-e-n-u oh. yeah odd all right let's go in here uh i already caught Did you not know that no, I didn't. I've always thought... I never actually thought about it. Uh, I've also gotten a good amount of the items in here already, so really it is all 100% about catching the Pokemon. Also, I accidentally caught an Executor. No, no, it's Execute. Executor is the um, evolved form. But I accidentally got one. So... Okay. Just to let you know, when the Pokemon entry for him does not show up, it's because I accidentally threw a Safari Zone at Ball and immediately caught him. <laughs> That's Nidoran. I believe we've already caught a Nidoran, right? I don't know if we have a girl one. I know we have a boy one. Alright, fuck it. Throwing the ball. Someone's gonna get to be named after this level 36 Nidoran, who is stronger than <laughs> currently Common Sore. Alright. Let's see the first person up that gets to be Nidoran. Okay, Nidoran. What's that? Oh, yeah, new Pokedex entry. You're right. We did not have her. Haha. -ha. All right. Uh, mild mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight, but wear its small horns to create venom. Scary. All right. Uh, this one will go to Super Vegito, who said Nido King is my spirit animal. I got close. So This is as close as we're going to get unless we wait, like, maybe five minutes until we run into the other one. Yes, exactly. So, S, <laughs> and he spelled it the the way I spell it, so that works out for me. So, it's the one where it's everyone will always fight over the spelling of. There we go. But it's also the only one that fits, so... Funny how that works. As Vegito was transferred to the Bills PC. The most fitting Pokemon for Super Vegito is, of course, a level 36 Nidoran. Girl. Uh, girl, yeah. <laughs> Uda is also the girl form. Oh, what? You can Tangela. catch Tangela? Yeah. I this have... is not where I catch Tangela, but you can. Wow, a level 22 Tangela. This is a much weaker than the... Uh... I'm going to guess also harder to catch. You're going to be a little bastard. Probably. You're going to be a bastard to us, aren't you? You are yeah. going to be a bastard. <laughs> the funny thing <laughs> is, is that where I planned to catch uh, Tangela was going to be another friend. So this just is like, uh, oh, damn it. You ran away. You bastard. I mean, we'll catch him. <laughs> we'll catch him. Fuck chances. you, Tangela. Yeah, fuck off, Tangela. And there's the Nidorino. Yeah, there's the boy one. <laughs> the one we were specifically talking about. Now let's see. I think the the thing is, is that I think if you throw a rock, they become easier to catch, but their chances of running away is easier. We caught a Nidorino. Right. So, so if you throw a rock, it's e their their catch rate goes up, but they're higher. They're like more likely to run away. Uh -huh. And bait makes them not want to run away as much. I see. Its horns contain venom. If they are stabbed into an enemy, the impact makes the poison leak out. Whoop. And there goes a bunch of people talking, so I'm going to talk over it to make sure that mm -hmm. that's not caught on the recording. <laughs> because we picked... Yeah, that one I did hear. Yeah, that one you did hear, so I'm going to do my best to try and get over. Uh, that's unfortunate, because now Zen, you're going to be talking, because they're talking a lot. So why don't you go ahead and guess the name I'm going to give this to the person. 
the Nidorino, I don't know. I would have guessed S of Jito because he specifically said he liked Nidoking. But we flipped the, squid, the script on him. <laughs> Gave him a goddamn girl, Nidoran, instead. Uh, so I don't know. I still can't think about things that are not Devil May Cry 5, so... Oh, is this going to be Master M? Or not because... Okay, it is Master M. All right. We we missed the M many times, so it threw me off. But we're back. All right. Oh, it's an Execute. Damn, Execute, like... What's with the one badass-looking egg in the middle, and the rest are just kind of around? Uh, what, what, I, I'd like to... Also, I'm back, so... Hopefully those noises stop. I like the one all the way at the top left that's given like a A. Execute's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, such a dumb Pokemon. It's dumb for a lot of reason because again, it's an egg Pokemon that evolves that is hatched from an egg that automatically has five eggs in it. So yeah, yeah, that's all correct. Throw it's, this... That's frustratingly correct. I'm gonna throw this fucking rock at you. Now get in the damn ball. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with your bullshit right now to execute. I already caught you once, literally. So I'm gonna just keep throwing rocks at you. How about that? Get out of here. Would that would like would that kill it? If Hitting I, an eggshell with a rock. I mean, it's got five of them, so it's gonna be fine. Oh, so like if you if you break one of the execute eggs, it's like ah, we still got the others. Exactly. Now let's see. Just do a little more spin here. I don't have the full list of who I think are in the first zone here, but I'm just going to walk around a bit, and then after a while, I'm going to... Once we get down to 15 balls, we're going to throw out the old Super Rod. I can respect that. Oh, it's Rhyhorn. All right. Man, the level disparency in these Pokemon is crazy. The little the level 36 Nidoran is currently the strongest thing we've run into. Yeah, I'm a little confused as to why the Nidoran was stronger than the Nidorino. It's like the world's Can strongest. Can Pokemon in the wild reject evolving? <laughs> is that is that a thing? Yeah, it's apparently apparently you can. See, I threw a rock and then it understood who was the dominant uh, person in the situation. Me, Cam. All right, let's see. The spikes Pokemon, a Pokemon with a one-track mind. Once it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep. Of course, let's see who gets to be Rhyhorn. Uh, let's give it to your boy. Your boy, Chips Ahoy, who <laughs> you may remember from Sacred Cards is also Pegasus. <laughs> That's right. He gave us the summon skull. He did. Which, unfortunately, we well, we talked about it on the live stream, but I'll talk about it here. He gave us the code for summon skull with no real information other than give this a Shenron and then... Once we did it, he waited for the video in which we summoned the Summon Skull and then gave us the quote Pegasus did when he plays Summon Skull. <laughs> that is the long con in the best way. I respect that so much. Yeah, that was a mad respect for that. Mad respect for the comment. It was great. Oh, it's a bite. I'm now going to switch to uh, Super Rod Fishing. Uh, now this brings back, brings back memories. I want to say, I'm not going to give anyone the... They're not going to be uh, Magikarp. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that solid to people they are com the people who said like i would like to be a pokemon deserve better than magikarp oh That's wow oh hey okay so this is a friend a level 10 friend but it's a friend now here's if he good... gets caught it's a friend should, should i just throw the ball i don't know what well, when you were a child what did you do in this situation uh i pretended that i knew what the rocks and the bait did Okay, I'm going to throw the ball then. I never pretended to do anything. <laughs> oh, come on. Damn it. See, that's the problem. Is that if you don't get it in one ball. So I think the bait um, it stops them from running. And the rock makes them easier to catch, but they're more likely to run away. Right. Oh, it's a bite. So let's go back into the fishing. Wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Uh, fuck. That's, uh... I did not actually think we could run uh, it. I missed. Yeah, I, here. <laughs> Eat some yummy uh, food. Come on. Get in the ball. Come on. What is this fucking Jed 1 shit where I can miss the ball? Uh, uh, 
Eat the rock. Yeah. Well, fuck you too. Well. <laughs> That's a big well. Not not too much we can do on that one. No, that was pretty awesome though. I really didn't think that our luck with the the super rod would be so. Oh, I we're back to Magikarp. Back to the Magikarp luck as he looks down at us with his pathetic look. He's look. He looks like Principal Skinner when he does the pathetic face. Um, but yeah, I did not expect. As a kid, I literally had never once used was able to get Dragonair. It was only ever Dratini's, and it was only after hours of literally like, um, fishing. And of yeah. course, oh my god, what is this? What the fuck? I mean, I'm gonna show dominance right away. Throw the rock. All right, he didn't run away. And of course, I missed it. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the goddamn ball, Dragonair. Throwing the rock. Oh god, he's gonna get pissed. He's gonna run. Yep. He's gonna run, but fuck him. He's wasting all our goddamn balls. I think you gotta. I think you gotta bait him first, and then crack him with a couple of rocks. Mm. All right, fine. That's our next situation here. Next time, I'll do it. Super. I really like that Future Games eventually made Dratini and Dragonair easier to get. Yeah. Fucking Magikarp. It's also weird because Dragonite's like not even all that good in this one. In a uh, yellow version? Yeah, because there's no other dragons. No, not really. It, the the it's only and there's like no dragon type moves. And it, and they have to take like what level fifty something. It's fifty, yeah. And they're, they are a pain in the ass to fight. Maybe it's specifically lances are a pain in the ass to fight if you don't have an ice type. And, of course, it's more Magikarp. Now this is my childhood. Now this is what <laughs> I We're remember. right back <laughs> where we used to be. Yep, right back where we started. Going into the Super Run. Not even a nibble. It is funny that uh, I really did not expect to get Dratini that fast, and then ever since then we have not been able to find a Dratini, so maybe... You son of a bitch. You really gonna keep showing up here? I could play this game all day, Dragonair. <laughs> he's really fucking with us, dude. He is fucking with us because he's every single time <laughs> not getting in the fucking ball. Wait. <gasps> dude, <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't be mad about it, but what the hell? I can't believe your fucking advice worked. <laughs> According to witnesses, his body was surrounded by a strange aura that gave it a mystical look. So, Never question eight-year-old Zen. Do not question. All right, this is a nickname. This is the friend. For all the amazing uh, tips he gave us throughout Sacred Runs, this is the only snake Pokemon in the game. So he will be Snake. It is not the only snake Pokemon in the uh, game. That you can catch in Pokemon Yellow. Specifically. Oh, okay. You can't catch Ekans. So, he's never evolving. We're never getting Dragonair. So. But there we go. There's Snake. That's that's one of the special friends. He also did comment saying, like, specifically you can't catch, um... You can't catch, uh... You can't catch Ekans. But I was like, eh. There's, there's another snake. There's another snake-like thing, a dragon snake. Ah, there he is. It's another friend. All right, let's catch him. Can we get the? I didn't even know he spawned in the safari zone. Apparently, it's exclusive to the uh, to Pokemon Yellow. All right, Cubone was caught. So, for those of you who did not guess who this was, uh, Zen, I'll give you one more chance of guessing who it is. He's he his aesthetic goes with Cubone. He's dead on the inside, and he has bad gotcha luck. I have no idea. It is. He's also lonely. <laughs> Poor Cubone. It is uh, it is Valley. Lucifer oh, Valley. Oh yeah, that no, that checks out. Full name is of course Lucifer Valley. We are not going to be able to fit Lucifer, so he will get Valley. There we go. Valley was transferred to Bill's PC. Oh man, so far this is going way easier. We I was like ready for us to get like this is gonna be like an hour long podcast style Pokemon adventure. Of just like Yeah, us. I'm actually surprised at how well this is working. Again, I think there's a curse uh, on the Pokemon Yellow that specifically is like 
No, all those childhood memories you remember, it's actually going to be much easier in this game for some reason. And it really doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, let's see. We'll go to a new area so we have a better chance of catching uh, Tauros, Pinsir, and Scyther. Make the good old trick. It's crazy that uh, in, by Pokemon Gold and Silver, the Safari Zone is closed. So either oh, people... that's right. Well, no, isn't there one in what's its fuck world? Uh, what's its fuck? In uh, Johto. Uh, yes, but not in the same name as like. Wow. Good what... God Almighty! What is this luck? All right, so here's the question: Just throw the ball, or the same thing we did for Dragonair? Same technique. All right. Through same something. technique. Same technique. He's eaten. Now, while he's eating, we throw the rock. So he's angry, but he's still eating. <laughs> okay. But at least he could be caught, and he ran away. That's a shame. The, point, the important thing is, is that we seem to have some form of a technique going down. Uh, wow, Netter ran his back. But yeah, if we keep running into... The plan was, at the very least, run into every Pokemon... And we have almost all Pokemon that are rare. The only one that I have not run into at all is... And who's going to be the actual pain in the ass is Chansey. Yeah. Oh my god! Wow. What this, the fuck? This luck. My it, childhood self is furious right now. No, I'm also pissed off. Now you understand how I felt when I was like going by myself and I was like, there's no... Oh, of course. I think for Kangaskhan, I just have to throw the ball. There's no, like, it's too rare for me not to just automatically throw the ball. But yeah, I ran into multiple Kangaskhans in here. And I don't know if maybe it's a specific thing with Pokemon Yellow. Because I feel like when I was playing the Safari Zone, all I ever ran into was fucking Nidorans and Nidorinos. Yeah, exactly. And now look at me, I'm running into Cubones every five minutes. <laughs> Like Scyther, Kangaskhan, Dragonair several times. We ran into more Dragonairs than we did Dratinis. And we of course, into... what? Here's the fucking Kangaskhan. So, no, that's the second Kangaskhan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to catch this Kangaskhan. And of course, he ran away. Makes sense, though. He's very busy. The Kangaskhan very is. A... Well, he's got a baby in his chest. He's very protective. Yes. Wow. Oh my god. I. <laughs> I <laughs> this is the world's greatest safari zone run. Jesus fuck Christ, man. Yeah. I'm going to run out of balls before I run out of steps. All right, I'm going to if he's still here, no he's not here. Okay, he ran away. I also like that the safari zone music is just the evolution music on rep <laughs> It's just the evolution theme on repeat. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I got one ball, so I'm gonna have to do the bait and rock. And of course, while he was oh, eating, he took the bait and ran. What an asshole! Classic, classic Vegeta style move. <laughs> he took the bait and ran. <laughs> uh, uh, Nid Arena. Nid Arena. I mean, we don't have Nid Arena, and we only have one ball though. So I'm gonna either save this last ball for one more Pokemon. Apparently, I looked this up. If you run out of money in the Safari Zone, they won't let you in. But if you keep trying to get in, eventually they'll just give up and let you go in for free, but with only one Pokeball. That's funny. It <laughs> is. And you have to try... Oh, I guess be I guess they have to let you in because you have to get two HMs in here. Exactly. So if you're ever in a, ever in a situation where you have no money, um, that happens. I will say, again, the spawn rates on this. The only one we're not running into is Chansey. And Chansey is, uh, I believe, 1%. So it is the hardest one. Okay. So here. it's every gacha yes, character. Uh, uh, Chansey is the LR. <laughs> right. So we want that LR. See, now, here we go. Here's like the shitty SSRs that we're getting from the banner. <laughs> Here's what I've come to All expect. the R's and the SR's. Yeah, our, our hot streak is over. Okay, here he is. He's back. Can we catch him? Let's try to bait him. And then we'll throw a rock at him. And then... And of course he ran away. I think we might need to double bait the the, the Kangaskhan. Because it's just okay. like... 
to uh, a mute. Like, it, lo it loves to run away, apparently. Which I don't blame it. I did just get food and then th some asshole threw a rock at me. Oh, okay, Scyther. Man. Okay. Throw the rock. Okay. And he ran away. I should have done the same thing. So apparently Scyther and Kangaskhan are on the same level of double bait, <laughs> then throw the rock. <laughs> I definitely remember as a kid, there were certain Pokemon I would just constantly throw the rock at to see, like, uh, how long it would take for them to just run away. And the answer was some Pokemon would literally take 50 rocks to the face. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty Nidoran move. Yeah, it's like, okay, this guy just loves to take nothing but rocks to the face over and over and over again. Run away. Oh, boy. All right. This is this is our uh, this is our cooldowns. This is our cooldown running point to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, we got we got too lucky too quickly. Yeah, okay, we got seventy one steps. So this our uh, we're treating all steps as a stone banners, as if this is all <laughs> once we get down to our lower ones. This is where all the luck goes away. But yeah, I remember as a kid just going to this specific. Ah, oh, there he is. All right, gonna throw some bait. And then how about some more bait? Some more tasty bait. Mm. Then I'm going to throw a rock at you. Then you're going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What an asshole. An unbearable asshole. Rhyhorn, we already caught you. So I'm going to ask you to step away. Let's go. Come on. I need to check. I, at a certain point, I need to do the the step trick that I learned as a kid, where it's possible to just stay in place and uh, not have the safari oh, zone. Oh, yeah. If you tap it very lightly, yeah. you turn in that direction, but you don't, uh, you don't take the step. Exactly. So that would be the way I use to um, get the maximum volume out of our steps. <laughs> oh, my God. We ran into, like, a horde of Kangaskhans, and they all booked it. Yeah, apparently they that someone told them that we were here looking for them. And Scyther's apparently just never-ending Cyphers. Okay. I'm just going to throw the ball. Screw it. You either get caught or don't. I think the answer right. was don't. <laughs> All right. That didn't really work out. You are Safari Zone balls. All right. The game is over. But it's not. Did you get a good haul? Yeah, dude. You should have seen how many times... I just stood there and wasted Safari Zone Balls. Right back in. We'll go to a new uh, spot to look for dudes. And now that we have some balls back, we can start catching some other people too. I wonder if we can run into Tangela again, just on our way there. <laughs> okay. That would be kind of funny. It would be. I mean, eventually we are going to have to go find and catch Tangela, because he is a friend. Uh, no, Nidorino was already someone, so I'm gonna run away. Nidorino, though, also not a bad find. Especially if, for whatever reason, you don't have, um. You didn't catch a Nidoran way back in the day. Way back in the day. Yeah, way... you had in the very beginning of the game. Yeah. For whatever reason, you decided not to catch one. Every banner is gonna have shitty units on it. It's true, and the, these Nidorans are those shitty units. It's the um, the tech Super Saiyan Vegeta of every banner, where he just shows up for some reason. One of the last few units I caught, and it made me so angry. I caught the, I didn't know that they did this, but they added more of the fusion cards into the general banner, uh, and I caught fucking the the Cell and Frieza fusion. Oh God, Cellza. Selza, so I was just like, God damn it. I did not want to see you. You are not on the list of people I wanted to see come out of this stupid banner. Does anybody want to see Selza? No, not really, because of the fusions, I think you only really want um, uh, Pandel. Pandel remains the only one, and the John Cena, and the uh, John Cena uh, of Broly and Goku. Kigoli. Oh, that's right. Was it Kagoli or something? Kanoli? Uh, Kakaroli or something like that, I think. Hilarious. I just remember that he looks like John Cena. With the jorts. 
<laughs> he does kind of. Ah, oh, Nidoran. See, now these fuckers are showing up out of everywhere. Now this is the Pokemon I remember. Yeah, all is right with the world again. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that, but for that one brief moment, I consider this a success. We did, in fact, catch a Dragonair, which is something I was not able yeah, to do as a child. Yeah, one. <laughs> of course you you're know, here. It, Oh, my God. Throw some bait. Make him stay a little bit. Feed your baby. It's probably starving. Exactly. Be a good father, Kangaskhan. Damn it. <laughs> he heard me talking shit and he immediately dodges the ball. <laughs> now I'm going to throw the rock. If I can't catch him by normal Pokeball and Vol throws, that, then there's no reason for us to continue on here. Alright. Back to what I was saying. I will continuously talk shit about Kangaskhan every time he shows up now. Until he is caught. Until our friend decides to join our party for good. Alright. Uh, yeah, this will be a good new area. Now I believe there's a chance of Pinsir to show up, so that'll be fun. There we go. Yeah. And then after this, wow. Really? I mean, okay. I mean, this is just a grown up Lucifer Valley, but we will catch another one and give it to someone else if we can catch him. Yeah, it's it's weird that they changed yellow. I don't know, maybe it was because between this, um, Cubone and Marowak became so much loved. They were like, maybe there should be an easier way to catch them that isn't putting them in the Death Tower. That's true. The Death Tower was not great. No, especially when there's so many Ghastlies. Of course you're going to run away. Coward. Join the team. Uh, Nidorans. It's interesting to think about, like... I've always been interested in, I still have that, uh, like, effect of, like, whenever I see a Chansey and they're super easy to get in a new game, I shake my head and go, like, you don't understand my struggles. Mm. You don't understand? Yeah. Oh, where they just walk around, like, outside Vermilion City? Yeah, and I'm like, God, why? And all they're used for is, like, to get mad EXP, and I'm like, God damn you all. You don't understand how it was like. You went all around the Safari Zone for a Chansey, and then Chansey wasn't even that good. Yeah. But you still did it anyway, because you had to catch them all. Because there was some old man who said, like, I can teach you Egg Bomb, but only one Pokemon can learn it. And it's Chansey. So you went and around. And you learned it, and you were like, oh, okay. This is not as cool as promised. <laughs> Great. God damn you, Execute. I forget, did we, were we able to catch Execute at all? I don't remember. All right, I'm going to throw a rock. Also, why can Execute not learn Egg Bomb? That's a good... Maybe because that would be town amount of just, like, killing your own people at that point. <laughs> but you can learn Self-Destruct. That's a move in this game. Well, that's different. That they're, <laughs> The the Geodudes believe that they are dying for a just cause. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't want to get into the whole the Geodude mindset. It's their whole religious thing. It goes back to the golems. Funny enough, Golem actually named after uh, the old uh, Jewish monster of old. Well, no, no. That's true. Not a monster, per se, I should say, because Golems were meant to be protectors, but they were treated as monsters, I'll say. I think that's a fair. That's a fair cop. Yeah, I can sign off on that. Yeah, yeah please do, so that when uh, <laughs> 20 years from now, when someone finds this old episode... <laughs> You can back me up on it. Hashtag cancel purple Wookie. <laughs> it will never work. It's too much, uh, too many things in the hashtag. People would give up around purple, so they would just cancel the <laughs> color purple for me. Man, now that would be now that sounds like a scary world where I would live in, where if we're getting to the point where like even I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow. Uh, okay. I guess I'll keep trying my best, but this seems like a pretty crazy-ass standard. Was it all the women things? It was all the women thing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'll cop to that. Was starting a no, a no fat chicks trend? Was that it? <laughs> yeah, was it my line of t-shirts with no fat chicks on it? Because if so, my bad. Might be on that one. I will admit to that one. I won't admit to a lot, but I will admit to the no fat chicks at the time. Hilarious, and I still think it's kind of hilarious, so. 
it is kind of really funny still. <laughs> my, uh, You're not going to catch me uh, disagreeing. No. Me and my sister will now, while in the car, make t-shirt ideas. Oh, hey, Pinsir. Nice. Let's see if we can just he throw... He looks fucking weird. He does. But Pinsir always looks like he has a, like, a non-stop middle fingers. Because he only has three fingers. So it just looks like he's... Uh... Oh, wow. Really? All right. All right. All right, Pinsir was caught. And, of course, Pinsir is named after a friend. Stag beetle. Well, let's see. Um, which one grips its prey and its pincers and squeezes hard? It can't move if it's cold, so it lives in warm places. Hmm. That seems like a huge uh, weakness. It does, especially when you're a bug. So we'll name this one after... The thing that most the the Pokemon this one most looked like. If you can figure it out while I'm typing it, say it out. Uh, let's... Oh, I don't know how you're gonna fit that. That's that's obviously Mister Ichibuti. That is that ain't gonna fit. That is not. But I I'll be damned. Just put just put B U T. <laughs> Missed to eat your butt? Yeah. <laughs> Missed to eat your butt? <laughs> Missed to eat your butt was transferred. <laughs> oh, Missed to eat your butt? God damn it, I kind of want to use Mr. to eat your butt. I know, me too. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll think about it. <laughs> I'm still... We might have to put him on the team. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. We'll decide. Just the thought of this 10-year-old kid in the Pokemon League fighting Lorelei or something. And she's like, all right, bring out your last Pokemon. <laughs> this kid goes, go, Mr. Eat Your Butt. Go, Mr. Eat Your Butt. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I mean, at that point, I... It's so funny because it's a pincer with that fucking gross mouth. Oh, yeah, that's kind of why I was like, no, that fits. <laughs> you know, uh... I, I hate to say it because we literally just evolved them, but the one probably most on the chopping block is uh, common <laughs> because I looked at his movesets. Yeah. Let me just do a... Let's just do a quick look at his moveset, by the way, because Toast has been saved by Slash and Fly, Common from this point on uh, only has a uh, solar beam left to learn. Grass types suck, bro. It's not news. It's not. I mean, at that point, we will we'll be rocking to um. We will be rocking to bug types, but who cares at that point? Like, I can carry yeah, us. It's not about the tier list. No. You know, we will discuss this off screen. I'll it's just about the fact that his name is Mister Eat Your Butt. <laughs> it's Mister Eat Your Butt. <laughs> you got a good haul. You would. You don't even know the half of it, bro. <laughs> I got. <laughs> you have no idea. I got everyone's favorite. You know what's the great thing about Mister Eat Your Butt is that it also sounds like a '90s character. It's Mister Eat Your Butt. <laughs> coming to mr rogers playhouse <laughs> all the way down from wow a oh man he looks thrilled he does it's so fucked up Which to me weird because he's a parasect yeah because the mushroom is the one in control and the body is just yeah, something because there the parasect body is fucking dead parasect is angry bro what are you even getting angry about let me add let me, let's be real here parasect <laughs> you have a lot more things to be angry about in your no longer existence than me hitting you with a rock. It's true. Oh, are you back, huh? <laughs> You're back, you want some more? He's still pissed. How about you eat another fucking rock? How about that? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Stay away. Get out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Get out of here. And now I'm going to use JX to fly out. Let's go in here. Let me quickly pick up this nugget. And we'll grind in here for a bit. See who we can get. We got we got Pinsor, so that means all that's left is um Cypher and Kangaskhan and Chansey. And all that's left. 
<laughs> all that's it's like left. their king is gone and chancy no problem yeah no problem and we're that's like all that's left we're what 30 34 minute 35 minutes into this <laughs> Rhyhorn's like gold in this game he is okay pretty soon i forgot i should start spending some of these balls to catch some other friends and catch some other viewers while we try and catch uh others in here Ah, oh, you're back motherfucker huh you're not gonna. Yeah, how many times am I gonna have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Apparently, constantly. Stop coming in here. Stop coming near me. And I'll stop throwing rocks. I like that all of a sudden, Parasect is the side of the show up. Yeah, it's like you, fucking Parasect. That's what you're. That's who's showing up right now. After all the luck we had before. I know. It's like the most monkey's paw version of luck. Of like, okay, yeah, technically this is a rare Pokemon. I'm going to see if I can catch this Nidoran. Ah, you're going to be a punk about it. Throw some more Safari Walls. There we go. Let's get another, uh, let's get another dude in here. Which sounds wrong, but I swear it sounded uh, better. <laughs> Another dude in here with Nidoran female. Exactly. All these Nidoran females walking around. <laughs> uh, please don't. They're underage. Okay, so this person said... This is going to Christopher Camp. Christopher Cramp. And his comment just said, Wookie needs more subs and money. Both things I agree with. <laughs> Those so, are true things. You will be just Cramp. This will be named in your honor. Cramp. Uh... I also like that for some reason this, even though it is literally in alphabetical order, I have trouble finding the the letters. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's because I keep thinking it's going to be like a PC, and it's never like a PC. Oh, like a like a keyboard. Exactly. May as well try to catch another Nidoran. Have a dude go to get in there. He is extremely weak, though. He is only fourteen years old. He is just a boy. And a boy who refuses to be caught, <laughs> apparently. Very strong boy. <laughs> yeah, very strong. Man, this is one angry boy. He does not want to be caught. Come on. Wow, okay. You're level 14 Nidoran. There's no, there's no value in you. Why are you doing this? How about you eat a rock? Are you angry? You mean nothing to anybody. Exactly. Get in the ball. <laughs> you mean nothing. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> <laughs> we broke his spirit. Yeah, he's like, wow, I thought I was putting up a good fight. I thought I was being kind of impressive, but I guess not. Have we never caught a Nidoran? I guess not. I'll be damned. All right, let's see who gets to be the lucky person who gets Nidoran. All right, then. Uh, this one will go down to Raiders fan. He wants to be either down as Raider or Big Boy, and since this was a very hard boy to catch, congratulations. You That's are fair. You are big boy. Uh, Raiders fan, of course, the keeper of the list. Yep, the keeper of the Dokkan big boy scale. Yes. Not not Legends Road work. Someone else is going to have to pick up that yeah, mantle eventually. Take up the mantle. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it has to be something naturally done. Someone has to realize, like, no, someone needs to take care of this. <laughs> big boy was transferred to Bill's PC. <laughs> Right next to Mr. Eat Your Butt. <laughs> Come back. Oh, God. It is funny that I was basically going into this going like, our team's finally 100% done. Actually, turns out, maybe turns not. Turns out the best thing ever happened, so we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. We'll have to uh, put Common in the box next to Scoo. As our two good friends who was with us for a long period of time, but two good friends that were uh, <laughs> cut from outranked, the shall we say? Yeah, Scoo really was more of a. Uh, she entered an unfortunate situation of I'm never getting rid of the Butterfree, so you know, I yeah, like that is a tough wall to get over, especially now that butterfree. especially now that I know Psychic and Psybeam. Like, good luck trying to get me off this goddamn team. I have the second best move set of any other Pokemon. <laughs> it's identified by excuse by excuse of the thick blue vines. The vines are used to never stop growing. So of course this can only be one person. Who is the one dude you know who never stops growing? 
even though you really wish you would he would kind of stop it's our good friend ah uh, yep yeah, okay it's our good friend uh, aminal you're right <laughs> no one I would do wish you would stop growing <laughs> never will stop though throw that up there and then i'll throw a little yeah <laughs> aminal <laughs> female male <laughs> Exclamation mark. Fitting. All right, we caught Tangle. And the good thing is, the the funny thing is that we were going to get uh, Tangle when we, we went to go pick up uh, Mr. Mime Style, who is another dude that is on the long list of, like, we have to catch you because a long time ago we made a joke. Yeah, we made a joke about your name ages ago, so now you have to happen. Exactly. Which is unfortunate because originally the the idea for the the legendary was the three legendary whales, and now unfortunately Rhyme has been kicked off of the three legendary whales. <laughs> Mr. Mime style's too good. It is. Ah, uh, hello, Paris. I see you still have life in you. Time yeah, again. his eyes still have pupils. Oh, alright then. Paris is with us. He's hoping we'll take him to the hospital to deal with that fucking parasite on his back. Yes. So this one will go out to someone who is constantly commenting on our stuff. It is LA fan. We have a lot of fans. Not, I don't mean that we have a lot of fans. I mean, we have a lot of people who say that they're fans in their usernames. Like Raiders fan and now LA fan. I think they all just know that I come from California and it just comes with the, the, comes with the territory. LA fan, by the way, likes to, uh, when you can tell when he's binge watching our stuff because he will comment on almost every single video. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Uh! Wow. He's look running too. Look at it. Uh! Uh, level seven. Oh, okay. Okay. Chansey's fucking cute as hell. Oh my God. I love Chansey so much. Compared to its usual dead eye that is in the, <laughs> the, the Pokemon Center. All right. Yeah. What a polar opposite between that Pokemon Center Chansey and this. Ah, uh, this oh, is God. it. It's gonna oh, run God. away, oh, no! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> you asshole! You bait it. I should have baited it. Always bait. By the way, it's the just like Twitter. Yeah. Also, the Chansey that the the friend who is the Chansey is uh, gonna be real hilarious. I swear, because it's gonna be the one that makes the most sense when we get them. Do they run all the time? Sort of. Let me put it this way. We should have used bait because they constantly fall for the bait. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, you're back, huh? God, fuck off, Parasect. I just lost a chancy, so get, guess what you're getting? You're getting another fucking rocks of the temple. Get out of my face. <laughs> this is a bad time. But yeah, I think we've officially now run into everyone that can be caught in the Safari Zone. That does not mean we're not going to stop. We're going to keep on going. Oh, really, Parasects? <laughs> Go. Leave my presence. He's kind of a dick, isn't he? Oh, wait. Maybe you're fine. Have you learned your lesson? Are you ready to join the team? Apparently nope. not. Now run away. No, he's not going to run away. At this point, I'm catching him because I feel like he needs to be caught. Wow, Parasect is angry. He's really angry. Unbelievably. Instead, he's angry like four times. You know what? You're going to be another pain in the ass. So I guess like, look who's eating another rock to the fucking temple. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Okay, finally you ran away. I knew that was going to happen eventually, but still felt it needed to be taken down a notch or two. Fucking Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn's back. We already caught... We only need... Like, if Rhyhorn was easier to catch, I would totally catch another Rhyhorn. But as it stands now... I still have not caught an Execute, so guess what? Never thrown ball. Again, I, th I caught an Execute on first pass. Like, literally, I threw the ball by accident, and I was like, please don't get caught. And then the bastard got caught, and now that I wanted to get caught, it refuses to get caught. <laughs> that one in the middle just looks like such an asshole. I mean, that's why he's in the middle. He's the the team leader. Isn't it like the the? Isn't it like two execute when they turn to executor? One goes in the ass. You again. <laughs> he's back. Back with a fucking vengeance. Here, eat another rock. You're gonna have to eat two rocks because now I know the game you're playing. All right. Now get in the ball. 
join the team. Mm. You're angry, but your anger does nothing. <laughs> I like how they're angry, but they never like attack us. Oh they yeah, just stand there politely. Just stand there politely. All right, finally, Parasect was finally caught. All right, let's see. Let me do a quick check. You know, just based off of pure um, anger-inducing that this Parasect has uh, caused us, I feel like there's only one person in the world who is uh, rightfully deserves the name of Parasect, who also was on Twitter saying they would like to be caught. So... Welcome, Chief. <laughs> you are extremely persistent and had to take multiple rocks to the face. <laughs> Chief, also one of the one of the one of one of I believe one of two female viewers. So, wait, is it Chief? I always thought it was Chef. Is it Chief or is it Chef? I, I, well, there's no I in it. I thought it was like, oh, I guess it would not be Chief. I've been calling, I've been calling her Chief Saber this entire time. No I in it. I thought it was like French, like Chef Saber. But <laughs> so, you just said Chef right there. I did. I don't know. I thought it was like literally. I thought it was Chief. Maybe I've been like, uh, you know, my problem with words. Yeah. I, I sometimes the words often vex you. It's true. I am known to be very vexing. <laughs> be it, uh, so at work, the reason I said that is that we were talking shit about um, uh, Suicide Squad, and that was one of the lines in the tra trailer, is Harley Quinn says, I'm known to be very vexing. <laughs> Which is a real <laughs> asshole thing to just say to someone, and I said it, that line could be delivered like 25 different ways better. Like, you just need to... to edit the setup and my idea was like they should have given it to like um killer croc or someone someone else not her should have said that someone that isn't the pretentious like the the like the girl? yes not the pretentious punk girl it had to be like it had to be given to diablo the mexican guy who's like i am known to be very vexing that's not how he sounds like that was me doing my speedy gonzalez so <laughs> yeah uh, yeah I, I mean it's technically not racist because you are also latino it's true, but that doesn't mean that I should set a better example for my people. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint Edward James Olmos, one of the greatest Hispanic actors out there. And I, that's what I think about every time I disappoint my people. How would Edward James Olmos feel about this? And the answer is always not that good. Hashtag cancel purple Loki. <laughs> Yeah, cancel. That's actually just the name of this. The Safari Zone special hashtag cancel purple Loki. <laughs> it's what Edward James almost would do. I think, uh, I don't think I've ever talked about my deep love and respect for Edward James almost enough. I'm going to go to a new uh, place because I think our luck's run out there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> But one time I saw in the news, it said Edward James almost, and I immediately started going, God, no. And then they <laughs> said, like you thought he died. Yeah. And then they said, happy birthday to Edward James almost. And I was like, oh, fake fucking God. <laughs> it was just a happy <laughs> birthday wish. Uh. But now it's gone to the point where like, if I see him in the news, I'm like, oh God, did he do something? Please no, don't take him away from me. <laughs> <laughs> just let him stay out of the spotlight so I can keep everything that he's done. Please don't. No, he has to stay a good dude. We literally don't have a lot of dudes to look up forward to. <laughs> well, thankfully now we do. We have a little bit more dudes, uh, some directors out there. But in terms of actors, it's him and it's Antonio Banderas, and then there's a bunch. I was of... about to say Antonio Banderas, and I, and I don't mean any disrespect to the uh, Spanish actors that my uh, mom grew up loving. It's just that I mean specifically that has like worldwide appeal. Yeah, like a movie star. Yeah. And not just, like, a Mexican movie star, because there's a difference between that. Like, there's obviously a bunch uh, of... A mainstream movie star. Exactly. One, when I say their name, people go, oh, yeah, that guy. They don't go, fucking who? Is that your is that your cousin or something? <laughs> and I go, no, it's not. He's a fantastic actor, asshole. Is Conti Floss some kind of food? No! <laughs> it's not. Uh, you can tell that I have deep resentment about this. Run! Yeah, yeah, that came from a very personal place. It's actually something... I, I wanted to make a joke about it once from um, 
back when I was writing uh, an animated thing, the joke was basically that there was a Hispanic boy, and he wanted he wanted to say like, "There's not a lot of Hispanic heroes out there." When you look down to it, is like, "Well, I don't think that's true." And then he would go like, "Okay, this is what we got. We got Zorro. We got uh, we got Zorro. We got Vibe, the DC character guy, who at that time was not in the Flash. He was just known as the weird guy in the spangly outfit." And then the other person would have been the guy from Stand and Deliver. <laughs> Those would have been the... <laughs> isn't isn't Blue Beetle Mexican? Yeah, Blue Beetle is Mexican. But that was the, the joke was basically he would name those three. He would name Zorro, Vibe, and then he would say the guy from Stand and Deliver, and that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Blue Beetle is uh, Mex- Jaime Reyes, I believe his name is. I believe you are correct. Yeah. And I believe they're also going to be doing a movie of Blue Beetle, and it's going to be him. Which is interesting because they'll be skipping the other Blue Beetles, which is good because they're not going to do what Green Lantern did, which was focus on the bad Green Lantern and not just go to the one everyone likes, which is the black Green Lantern. Yeah, they went with uh, Hal, which is why did you go with Hal? Yeah, never go with Hal. Like there, there's worse. There's literally there is a worse choice. It's the second Green Lantern. But you want to go straight up with the the one from Justice League. That guy's, especially like after what like Phil Lamar did with him. I think I actually recently told Valley, is there a way to buff up Phil Lamar so he can just play Green Lantern? Because <laughs> he's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, he is already that, uh, he is already that character. It would be very hard to find someone. I mean, it, you know, if you find a good enough actor, there's plenty of good uh, black actors out there that can do the job, but... It'd be a shame for him not to uh, not to get some recognition for all the great voice work he did there. Yeah, he was very good. Uh, he was yeah. also Aquaman for reasons I don't know. He made a good Aquaman too. Uh, him and uh, he's one of my favorite ones, right next to uh, Joe DiMaggio, who was uh, Aquaman in Brave and the Bold. Joe DiMaggio, best known for uh, Jake the Dog, and uh, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. <laughs> <laughs> He does a fantastic Aquaman. Have you ever seen... Uh, of course, you're going to fucking run away. Run away! That's all you know how to do! <laughs> Oof. Um, but yeah, have you ever seen Batman Brave and the Bold? Uh, individual clips that were really funny, but I've never actually watched the show. It's great. If uh, anyone who did not want to give Brave and the Bold a chance because it seemed a little too campy... It is fantastic because it is campy, but it is also has some of the best Batman stories out there because it's not just Batman by himself. I watched uh, the one clip where it's like he pulls off a mask of Superman and he's wearing his Batman mask under the Superman mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real good. Do you, do you want to know what the last episode's about? It's fantastic. Yes. So, um, you know, Batmite the uh, mystical being that Batman occasionally has to deal with. He... No, but you sure. Okay, so you know Mr. Mixelplix? No. What? Is okay. that real? Okay, so there's a Superman villain called Mr. Mixelplix, who is a um, 10th dimension demon pixie guy, whose basic idea is that he can't be beat, but he wants to fuck with Superman because there's no one as strong as Superman. And the only way to deal with Mr. Mixelplex is that you have to get him to say his name backwards. So it's a lot. Superman literally can't beat him. There's just no way. He's too powerful. So he has to constantly beat him by outwitting him and making him say his own name. Um, God, this long string of just like Kangaskhan's as I talk about <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mixelplex. Um so yeah, Mr. Missile Blakes is a Superman villain, and from his dimension, there is another imp called Batman. Consider Might. some bait. Consider some bait. Okay. Uh, there's another uh, demon from his realm called um, uh, Batmite, and Batmite is obsessed with Batman to the point where like all he does is like record what Batman does, and is like, "Oh man, you're so cool." So Batmite. And, uh, damn it, Kangaskhan. Yeah, Kangaskhan's being a real dick. I really don't think I can throw any bait or any rocks. I just gotta go with God that the um that the Pokeball <laughs> catches. Okay, so uh back where I was going with Batmite. So Batmite is like this um so he's obsessed with Batman, and so for the last episode of Brave and the Bold, he believes that Brave and the Bold has gotten he's afraid that it might like overstay its welcome. So he wants to cancel the show early 
so that it will always have its it, it wants it to have basically one extremely bad episode so that it can not be ruined by having later episodes down the line so he decides to basically jump the shark on batman and he starts fucking with batman's show specifically to make it jump the shark so he starts adding a bunch of new accessories he changes the voice of aquaman who was john dimaggio with someone else <laughs> and the only so to stop batmite a new hero called ambush bug who ambush bug is an old hero from i want to say the silver age or so played by henry winkler has to save batman from jumping the shark <laughs> and also That's paul good. rubin paul rubens plays batmite so Pee Wee Herman versus Henry Winkler to save the career of Batman. <laughs> and, and and because it is the last episode, Batmite fails. And so the final episode is like them trying to save Batman's show and it doesn't work out. And then Batmite goes, oh, fuck, what have I done? I've accidentally canceled one of the shows I've loved. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what am I? Please what, get caught. Please get caught. Please, please get, get caught. caught. Please get bitch. caught. You, you asshole, you unbearable. <laughs> this is all the, the revenge for all the Vegeta shit talk we've done. Like, back to back. Yeah, it really is. is this is intentional. This feels intentional. This feels like 100% intentional. Uh, also, pretty soon it looks like I'm going to have to start charging this laptop. Because <laughs> we're getting close to the hour mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, yeah, Brave and the Bold, you should check it out. I'm going to quickly save inside here. Zen, why don't you uh, talk to the people while I go get my charger before my laptop okay, dies on us? Uh, <laughs> so, Wookie's getting his charger for this fucking marathon episode. So, how, how is everybody? Are you guys good? Have you played Devil May Cry 5? Because, oh my god, if you haven't played Devil May Cry 5, really, please get and play Devil May Cry 5. I don't even care if you don't like Devil May Cry. This is game of the year, and it's March. It's like early March. It's not even late March. It's very early March, and this is the best game that we're going to get this year. It's so good, you guys. You don't even know. I know you've heard that goddamn Devil Trigger song because everyone's heard it. So don't act like you haven't heard it. Just play the goddamn game. <laughs> play the game. I know that you've heard the song. I know that you've seen the game. Play the game. Spend money. Give Capcom your money. Capcom's doing good things lately. We've got Devil May Cry. We've got Mega Man got monster hunter world we got whatever that other good capcom game is there's another one i think is there another one fuck is there another good capcom game mega man devil may cry monster hunter shit what else does capcom do they do other things is it just street fighter 5 didn't we all hate oh resident evil 2 that's what it was resident evil 2 is, is there I remember everybody was like, uh, Street Fighter V. Not to say that I think Street Fighter V is bad. I actually kind of like Street Fighter V, but Resident Evil 2 Remake was also really popular. Capcom is good again. So, you know, spend money. They did censor R. Mika's ass, which is one of my favorite uh, asses in video games. Yeah, but you still get it in your face. It's true. So. I feel they did right by her ass regardless, so I didn't feel that bummed out about the the change they did. It really makes sense it's in the long run. It's a quality ass. Yeah. Mr. Eat Your Butt approved. <laughs> Mr. Eat Your Butt approves Arvika's ass. So many... Th see, if only we... This is one long episode, so it's going to be hard to... I like how we came back and immediately caught a Nidorina. Like, mm -hmm. I was, like, not even thinking about it. All right. It's time to see someone up on the old Twitter thread. Who gets to be this one? Uh, continue with what you were talking about, though. Oh, know. I was just ranting about how people better fucking buy Devil May Cry 5. They should. People need to buy games to show that, um, that, Cap first of all, that Capcom cares. <laughs> that they, the yeah. people care. Since my sister was angry that we never actually showed her getting caught, this will be Yowie Mom too. Okay. Yowie Grandma? <laughs> yes. That or Yowie Mama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, Yowie right. ma'am M-A-A-M Oh that's really good Yowie ma'am <laughs> Yowie ma'am The great thing is that Yowie ma'am Also sounds like a future Pokemon in the making It kinda does 
Hey, hey, I on. don't like that both Yowie Ma'am and Mr. Eat Your Butt are in the box at the same time. <laughs> I feel like we need a chaperone in the box. All right, well, let me catch another oh, fucking Cubone. Why do you run from my love? <laughs> he knew what you were about to do, and he was like, I want none of that. I'm not getting in between the mom and the, 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 the butt eater, so. <laughs> Dash is not something that's going to go down. I should really stop running away from the knitter. Oh, wow. Speaking of Mr. Eat Your Butt, who better <laughs> than to have another? <laughs> A second one, because that makes it better somehow and not worse. Exactly. This one will be. Well, let's see. First of all, I'm putting the cart before the horse, of course. It's yeah, a pincer. Yeah, a very high chance we don't catch him. It's pincer. Like, let's be real here. I like our odds as much as anyone else, but. And you you have to admit, we have run into some crazy luck here in the Safari Zone. Oh, yeah. We are entering borderline D3 levels of luck in the Safari Zone. <laughs> the only difference is that he probably would have caught the Chansey. Actually, who knows? Actually, after the Super Saiyan 4 thing, he might have not have been able to yeah, catch the... Yeah, I feel like he might not ever catch anything again. <laughs> that was that how bad it was. Yeah. It's it's funny, actually, because I think he's talked about it a couple times now that he kind of wants to not wail as hard as Dokkan. And I kind of agree, because he's at the point where he's getting good pulls, but it's not the good pulls that matter. He's... Well, like, the thing about Dokkan is you can pull 10 SSRs and still be like, this fucking sucks. And it's getting to the point. Consistently. Yeah. Like, that's more likely to happen. And we're also getting to the point where I pulled a physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and went, I kind of wish you were the, the the tech one that is not on the banner. Because he's getting his own banner later. And that feels like a waste of a banner space, but whatever. Yeah, it does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Who the fuck is going to pull on the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unless he's, like, the leader of children? That's the only thing that I could see, like, all of a sudden they decided to make him, like... I think that would actually be the craziest shit ever. If they were, like, he's the 120% lead for kids, it'd be like... It would what? be good. It's just funny the way that you said that. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, again... <laughs> we've been recording an extremely long time. Hashtag cancel Purple Loki. <laughs> I don't like this trend you're starting. <laughs> because eventually people are just going to pick it up. And I'm going to be out of here. Speaking of out of here, you son of a bitch, get in the goddamn ball. I don't care if we don't catch Chansey. I am tired of the fact that you keep mocking us by showing up and refusing to be caught. Oh, good God. Get in. How, how, how do they get Chanseys for the Safari, for the Pokemon Center? Uh, apparently they just get bread in here. God damn you. You Vegeta loving son of a bitch. If you have not guessed who Kangaskhan <laughs> is by now, I fucking hate you so much. At this point, I if he runs away from this, I'm going to use the actual name because I'm getting tired of referring to him <laughs> without saying <laughs> his code. name. Get in the ball. Get in the ball, you piece of shit. Fuck you, Conell. <laughs> if you show up again, I'm going to serious. Okay, thank God. It's a Nidoran. <laughs> You have no idea how close you were to destruction, Nidoran. If we could bring out our Pokemon in here, we would have obliterated this Nidoran. Yeah. You know what in the rage. So now that we said that that is 100% Conel, I like the idea of the baby on his pouch is not one of his kids, but it's actually uh, it's actually Penta. <laughs> the, two, the two Vegeta fans right next to each uh. other. Oh, you back, huh? You heard me talking shit. Get in the ball, Conel. Get in the goddamn ball. I'm not... I'm... <laughs> Fucking... I hate you so much. Oh, and why... <laughs> I like the Nidoran shows up immediately. It's the same goddamn Nidoran. It's the level 36 Nidoran. <laughs> why are you using Safari Balls on it? We need... Uh, now it's running away. We need to We need to get more of our, the, of our dudes out here. Oh, uh, you're just... right. I was like, we need some more... Uh, Twitter peeps up in there. Because otherwise, uh... Oh, come on. See, now we're at the point where we're tilted because fucking Conell has come in and completely ruined the day. Just been a complete asshole. Like, un unrelenting. 
<laughs> the funny thing is, is that we, I, I really didn't think that um, the problem with catching Connell was always going to be like, we might never run into him. But apparently the problem is, is that we're just never going to fucking catch him. Like, yeah, he, we're going to run into him 150,000 times and then never catch him. No. Like, never, never once. I'm going to run away from the Nidoran because I realized that I was wasting all those safari balls on it. It doesn't want to be caught. It's not going to be caught. Let's see how much more stuffs we got. 155. Yeah. I like that the po front Pokedex is all filled out, though. That's nice. It's nice to look at. Okay, I'm going to throw a rock at your face. And if you don't get caught <laughs> off of the rock, that means you do not want to be caught. Makes sense, is that right? The new, is that the new uh, technique? Yes. Except One for rock against... to the face, and then you get caught, or you don't. Exactly, and then it runs away. So you never want to get caught. Except for Connell, because Connell runs because he's a damn punk. He never wants to take <laughs> a rock to the face. <laughs> he won't stand his ground. He doesn't want to stand his ground. He doesn't want to fight me. He doesn't want to debate. He doesn't want to get on Discord and debate me. <laughs> he doesn't want to debate you in VC. Yeah, either debate me on VC or run away, coward. I'm going to throw another rock at you. Because we, again, uh, Mr. Eat Your Butt and Yaoi Mom are just still in the box, just... Mm -hmm. There's no parental supervision in there at all. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, about the way. Wow, you just said uh, all the things you said just completely like got <laughs> uh, computerized. I'm gonna run. I knit or ran away from him. Got him. <laughs> oh, you take that. Speaking of taking that, you. Get in the ball, Connell. Get in the ball. Run. <laughs> Stop running. God damn it. He's scared to admit that Vegeta sucks, so he won't stay around long enough for us to talk. Yes. You know what? We. Uh, you know what? That's what I need to do. Next time, I'm not going to say get in the ball. I'm just going to say Vegeta sucks and throw the ball. <laughs> See how that works out. He'll be so intimidated that he won't know what to do. At this point, I'm just staying here because it seems like there's a pretty good catch rate on Kangaskhan's. Jesus, fuck. Told you. All right. Vegeta sucks. Damn it. All right, that didn't work. And he ran away. I, I do like the idea, though, that we lead off with Vegeta slander every single time Connell shows up. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Eventually, he'll just I get more. I think it's a good strat, yeah. <laughs> he'll eventually have to get ro ro uh, just completely torn down. As we continue with this now borderline legendary episode of Pokemon Safari Zone Edition. <laughs> yeah, good God Almighty! How long has this episode gone on for so long, so far? Uh, an hour and seven minutes. In my nice, I feel the need that we still need to catch a lot of people. Uh, specific. The problem is, is that I expected to not run into Kangaskhan every five minutes. I didn't. Ex yeah, that's the thing that's now like Kangaskhan looks like a realistic thing it's harder to end the episode yeah it is that's the problem is that I, I like this is literally turning into moby dick it's called moby connell and we are this is one man's journey into darkness you fuck and this nidoran piece of shit keeps taking the balls <laughs> get in the fucking ball you need to you need to go through this hour-long episode and edit the fucking devil may cry fight music every single time connell spawns Oh, you know for a fact I can't do that. <laughs> you know. I know, but it would be hilarious. I mean, it would be great. I can do an, an Just after. Just like the angry rock. <laughs> I mean, I can do a definite, like, uh, afterwards, just to, on specifically Cornell, because he shows up so many times. All right, let's see. We got a new one, so let's see who will be in there to stop Yowie Mom and Mystery Eat Your Butt. You know, I think this one will be good. From Twitter, we will put in our boy... Oh, Pouty Buffin. Oh, yeah. He always struck me as a chaperone. Exactly. Unfortunately, we are not going to have enough for Pouty Muffin. No, we are going to have it because I was going to put it as Pouty Muff. Pouty Muff? But that Don't would... do that. No. That's... Yeah. Pouty Muff would not be a good chaperone name. Pouty Buffin. You're going to have to go in there and to keep the peace between them. <laughs> between Yowie Mam and Mr. Eat Your Butt. Never not gonna be funny, huh? Oh, hey, guess it's who's never back? Never gonna not be funny. You know that uh, Vegeta the... is an edge lord shit character. There you go. 
Perfect. You got it for me. <laughs> you already had that <laughs> on the ready. <laughs> okay. I got this one. You know that image from Heroes where Vegeta's constantly on the floor? That's Get used to that because that's the only way you're going to see Vegeta from now on. <laughs> Damn it. God damn it. He ran away. Like the coward he is. He's <laughs> running away. <laughs> uh, we only have one Pokeball left, so... This is the cruelest fate. He left us with the cruelest fate of we only have one Pokeball left in 38 steps. Son of a bitch. Bastard. Oh, Rayhorn. You don't want to mess with me today. You don't want none of this. Yeah, bad day, Rhyhorn. Bad day. A oh, bad day. All right, let's see. I think we might run in, run out of time before I. I think because of Pikachu, they've changed the movement thing. I don't know. I think you can still do it. Because how else would you turn around and look at Pikachu? You have to be able to do it. Hmm, that's a good point. Oh, okay, you got this one. Give your... All right. Uh, Vegeta's only role is to be Goku's rival, and they've already replaced him several times with better characters, so you're never going to see Vegeta really do anything of value from now on. Ball thrown. Go. I like the idea of Cam watching this and going, they Damn really... <laughs> they have a very interesting <laughs> approach against this Conel guy. <laughs> did you get a good haul? I mean, we did get Pouty Muff Muffin. So I'm going to count that as a good haul. Poor Chase the Pikachu, by the way, is like, are we going to go? <laughs> are we ever going to yeah, leave? He's, just, he's like a little kid whose parent took him to the store. He's like, ah. I like the idea of, like, every time Cam comes back, he comes in shouting, God damn it, Connelly immediately slaps down another 500 and goes back in. It's like, no, I'm not done with this flip. I don't care what the rates are for this Kangaskhan. He is going to be fucking caught. Parasect, I swear to God, if you show your ass right here, I am going to nonstop throw rocks at you. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's not in the mood? Guess who's in an extremely hot room trying to catch his friend who refuses <laughs> to get in the goddamn ball. Scyther has, by the way, stopped showing up. I think he's realized uh -huh. that... It's All your right. turn. It's my turn. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm going to try and think of like a good way of just going at Vegeta that doesn't like I feel at this point isn't even talking shit about Vegeta. It's actually just I think Vegeta might have a small penis ball thrown. <laughs> oh, I was going to be really funny if that was the thing that got him. <laughs> that was the, <laughs> out of all the like the well thought out things about Vegeta. It's the Vegeta has a tiny dick. Vegeta then... has a tiny dick. <laughs> all right. I right, wait a minute. This was a trap. This is the level 14. This Nidoran is the Nidoran version of the Griggle Gambit, because it is literally taking away all my surprises. It really is. It's taking all of our balls with trap cards. Every single fucking time. Unbelievable. I think I've, I actually recently saw someone... Uh, it's funny to me seeing other people talk about Griggle Gambit, <laughs> because I think if we're never going to stop saying Griggle Gambit, because that is just too funny of a... God, well, who guess who's back? Okay, um... Bulma's in, or, yeah, okay, so Vegeta's entire role is to be a family man now, but Bulma's actually a much more interesting character at this point and does way more impactful things on screen. There we go. Let's get him. <sighs> God damn it, with the one shake. With the one shake. I feel like his. we're getting to the point where at least the ball is getting thrown at him and catching him inside. Guess who's back? All right. <laughs> Your turn. All right. Um... The reason why people keep going back to evil Vegeta characters designs because that's the only re <laughs> that's the only thing Vegeta really knows how to do at this point. <laughs> oh, one shake. All right, you're good. Your time. All right. Um... Vegeta hasn't been an entertaining character on screen since like the second arc of Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Throw the ball. That's hitting him where it hurts. That's prime Vegeta. Oh, damn it. God! Uh, the reason that planet Vegeta was eventually destroyed by Frieza is because naming, naming a planet after Vegeta is asking to be killed. <laughs> oh. Fuck! Alright, your turn. Alright, uh, um... 
the Z fighters in general would have been better off if they had just left Vegeta dead on Namek because he's the cause of almost all of their problems. Okay. Um, Vegeta seems like the kind of guy who would throw the board in the middle of Monopoly even though he was already winning. <laughs> Damn it. I really thought that would get him that time. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, there's only one good character named Vegeta and his name is Kaiba. <laughs> See, now you're hitting where it hurts in the Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. All right, my turn. Um, the, re the reason uh, Kappa looks up to Vegeta is because he's the only character that can. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I, that's, a, that's a personal victory on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna start throwing oh, some. Oh god! This is gonna get a good time to just prime up any Vegeta-related <laughs> things we got. <laughs> oh my god! At least we caught execute finally. All right, we're not gonna get the Pokédex entry, but now we can name it after someone in here. Let's see here. Let's name it after... Actually, this is someone I skipped from the um, YouTube comments, which is accidental, because he always comments. But let's go with... Bun... Bunye. And then... Space. Oh. He'll know what that means. Yeah, he'll know. He'll know. Just know, even if I don't comment, I look at every single comment... <laughs> I just sometimes don't know how to respond. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Aw, oh, damn it, I've fallen for the fucking Griggle Gambit again. <laughs> Get away from me, Nidoran. Man, that Conel, that, at least at this point, I feel like he's just sticking around. Cause, cause yeah, he's, he's, he's hovering. Yeah. That was definitely our longest battle with Conel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to execute. Get away. I've already caught you. Caught you once. Yeah, I feel like Cypher has left the building because he's like, I guess they don't need me here. <laughs> this Kangaskhan... Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen a Scyther. Yeah, it's it's been mostly the Kangaskhan at this point. Because Kangaskhan knows. He knows that we're hunting for him. Now, now we catch him once. Now, just execute decides to show up every other. Uh... <laughs> fucking execute. Yeah, fucking execute, man. Get away. Get your psychic ass grass away from me. Oops. There we go. Ah, oh, as we speak about him, here he is. Uh, we were. I was about to start insulting Vegeta, but that's not what Cypher's <laughs> deal is. No. Just throw some balls at him. Hmm. He's just too. He's just too fast. I wonder if speed has some kind of factor in how fast a Pokemon is. Oh, guess who's back? Oh shit! Okay. Um. Fun fact: the only fight that Vegeta has won since Android 19 is when he punched Goten in the stomach. <laughs> Darn! The Pokemon broke free. Damn it! Kangaskhan ran. Connell ran. Let's be real. It's now the yeah. spirit of Connell running. <laughs> it's just him as a person. Uh, I guess he just ran to come back. I see you're back for more, huh? His level, his level has actually gone down from all the jokes, <laughs> from all the <laughs> all the Vegeta hate. Yeah, it's weakening him. Uh, let's see. I like that Dokkan gave Majin Buu the uh the Majin Vegeta explosion, except for he can survive it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, your turn. 
Uh, it's extremely fitting that Vegeta's best character moment is him dying. Yeah. Very telling. <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> that was it! <laughs> <laughs> he finally couldn't take it! He was uh, like, you're right. <laughs> the parrot Pokemon. Uh, Hit one. He was denying it the entire time until that one. And then he was like, oh my god, they're right. He won't run from any fight to keep its young protected. He was trying to protect Penta. <laughs> he didn't want to let Penta hear what we were saying. Look away, Penta. <laughs> Cornell. I'm just gonna then... Since it's a baby Penta, we already have a Pence. We'll just call him Pen. Pence. Conal Pence. Conal Pen. Conal Pent. If we put it together, it would have made Conal Penta, but... Oh, there we go. Man, we did oh, it. Oh, we did it. Oh, and, and now there's proper adult supervision in the... Yeah, there is. The he'll, act he'll actually legitimately look. It'd be funny. Actually, one more Vegeta joke for the row. Vegeta just kind of sucks. Don't like him. Let's see if that <laughs> works. Oh, no, it doesn't work. All right, I think it's time for us to get away from this specific area. Otherwise, Connell's just going to keep showing up. Ah, <laughs> uh, get away. No one cares about you anymore, Execute. Nobody cared about you before. I mean, I cared just because I wanted the, it to be caught on on camera. I wonder if there's All any... All right, like, fair enough. I wonder if there's any Pokemon here in the surf. I'm trying to remember if you can get Psyduck from here, but I can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. I think you get Psyduck on Victory Road, though. Hmm. Okay. Really? <laughs> How many times we gotta teach you this mess lesson, old man? I'm just gonna throw a rock. At this point, I'm just throwing it because I. I, I you ever throw a rock at a like, Kangaskhan oh, to flex on him? It would be really funny if, uh, in post after this episode, when you throw that rock uh, in mid throw, it cuts to the laser beam going through Vegeta's chest on Yannick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just gonna do a supercut of all the Conell stuff that's gonna be called. Uh, the it's literally it's literally Moby Dick at this point. The only one that we have left to catch is um, uh, Chansey, and we have I'm gonna catch some more Pokemon for the Twitter po for the Twitter folks. But, um, yeah, Scyther and Chansey might be the only ones that get away, but considering we caught Dragonair and fucking Kangaskhan. Yeah, I think if we go after Chansey, this is going to be like a six hour long episode. Yeah, and that's just not like, that's just not going to be doing it. Let me see. No, Nidoran. I'm not going to fall for you again, uh, Griggleran. I'm not going to fall for that shit. <laughs> All right, I'm just glad that we were finally able to catch Connell. I feel like we can actually legitimately end it after we catch uh, some Twitter folks, some more Twitter folks. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> this has been quite the episode. This has been a journey. This has been the Odyssey in video form for us. <laughs> uh, because we were able to catch a lot of rare Pokemon. I literally <laughs> did not. This is our Iliad. <laughs> this is our Iliad, and of course, Pincer shows up, immediately making it hard for anyone to actually be caught. Oh, Pincer. Yeah, run away. It's cool. We got Mr. Eat you, but we don't need another one. Don't need a second Pincer. We don't need Pincer just... slot is filled, thanks. Exactly. Seat's taken. Let's catch some more Nidorans. As more people get to have the awesome job of being Nidorans. Uh, Safari is long. Come on. Okay, there we go. As promised, I did promise in that episode that a lot of people would just end up being Nidorans. Yeah, that was an inevitability. Yeah. We can't do anything about that. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. Um, This is another YouTube commenter. This will be Eli. He also shows up in the um the chat, the, the streams as well. Yeah, he does. Shout out to Eli. Shout out to Eli. Keep the hustle going. Keep going. <laughs> read Torico. Yeah, read Torico. You can't speak about the hustle and not... Oh! Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. He was one of the dudes we... I forgot that we totally had to catch. Well... Oh, well, we ran into him. That's all that really matters. 
yeah, run away. It's fine. The important thing is that we saw him. So we can say, like, oh, we we saw him at least. Yeah, oh. he was in the episode. Oh, Marowak. So solemn looking. You think Marowaks know that they have to give their skull to their baby when they are born? Yes, I assume that it's a like a ritual passing. So they're all like, "Oh God!" <laughs> yes, they're I, like, "I'm not ready for kids." <laughs> yeah, it's a the Bone Keeper. <laughs> Small and weak, this Pokemon is adept with its Bone Club. It has grown more vicious over the ages. Wow, they're saying Marowak is weak. That's some crazy shit to call Marowak. Yeah, I feel like if it can beat you to death with a bone, it's not that weak. It's true. Uh, since this will be basically, this is another form of Valley, but it's fine. We will give this one to... No, Valley is definitely the smaller, m sadder one. Okay, then let's give it to the big sad. Let's give this one to good old Josh. Yeah, that is the big sad. <laughs> the big sad. Thank you, good old friends. A different form of gotcha sadness, really. There we go, Josh. You know who you are. I mean, that's what I hope for. This is literally going to be one of the craziest episodes because it's super crazy long. <laughs> I yeah. was done. And if people want to find out if they're in the episode or not, they have to watch the whole goddamn thing. They have to watch the whole goddamn thing. And then they're going to – all they're really going to hear is us talking shit about Veg – the funny thing is that Josh is also a big uh, uh, Vegeta fan. So that's going to be a fun go through. <laughs> Another Nidoran. This one will go out to – let me see. Yeah, let's give it to Sora, the Smash Professor. Yeah, that fits as a Nidoran. Yeah. As a girl Nidoran. 100% fitting. Sora was transferred to Bill's PC. Now let's see who we can get on here. Wild Execute. I'm going to run away from you. It's funny that I'll gladly catch a bunch of Nidorans, but I will not catch an Execute. <laughs> execute are harder to catch, man. It's not worth it. It's true. Meanwhile, Nidoran, as long as they're not level 14 and trying to fool me with the Griggle Gambit, very easy to catch. Par uh, same thing, Parasect, very hard to catch. And extremely annoying to catch as well. Oh, man. You're gonna... I was gonna say, you're gonna bust my ball? You're gonna <laughs> bust down out of here? We have, at this point, a Nidoran squad. <laughs> it's a bunch of Nidorans. Yeah, it's like, uh, remember in the Pokemon anime where Ash had all those Tauros? Yes. We're like that, but with Nidoran. And since this guy is, uh, he, his, uh, this is another Twitter guy, He'll it, it's Flo, and it has a giant whooper in their um, avatar, so you know I gotta represent the whoops. All the whoops out there. There are the whoop squad. <laughs> the whoop squad. <laughs> whoop, there it is. ED. And was that our last Pokeball? No. We have one more. Who gonna get it? It's gonna be another Nidoran. <laughs> it's Aww, gonna be a yeah. Come on, get caught. That was my last ball. Don't be a dick. You're gonna be a dick ah, about it, huh? Asshole. Could've joined the Nidoran squad. I just realized that they let you save inside the Safari Zone. I don't think they usually let you do that. No, they did. No, I mean uh, in future games. Because you can just... Oh, oh, I don't know. I know in Gen 1 you can. What's to stop you from saving at the start and just saving a bunch of money? You see what, what? I mean? Like, if you save no, inside... Like, you save inside here, and then you can just do your Pokemon run, and then if you don't run into any good Pokemon or you lose a bunch of balls early on, just reload. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking here. Okay, Nidorino, you're going to be caught. You can join the Nidoran squad. Or maybe I'm going to throw a fucking rock at you, and then maybe you'll start <laughs> to learn to appreciate the things I could, I'm offering you. Oh, uh, nope. Or you could be a run, and you could be a goddamn coward. How about that? You're Seems a coward! Coward! <laughs> and your eggs, you're not the egg I want to see. I like to think that the Execute are just all a bunch of failed Chansey eggs. <laughs> Mid-hatch, it didn't work out, and they're like, oh, God. Yeah. This I was is all we have. I was going to make it a lot of dar a real, much darker joke, but I decided against it, because Cam That's might still be best. watching. <laughs> That's probably best. 
It is. Yeah, like, we don't even have any confirmation that he's still watching this, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. We did it in spirit. We're, too, we're in too deep. We're in too deep, and the important thing is that Cam knows that it's being done for him. That was always the important thing to me. So that when Cam does eventually, uh, Chase eventually sits down with uh, Cam and they see it all. And they see the journey that is. I think Chase is still behind. He doesn't know that he lost Thundershock. <laughs> He's that far yeah, back. Yeah, he never knew. I think Sky had to be the one to tell him. And he was like, oh, what the, What have they done to me? <laughs> it's like, not, not the greatest things. But I stand by no, the fact it, that... It's been better. It's been better. The funny thing is, is that actually almost happened to you as well. But I was able to stop myself at the last second. And well, I was thank like, thank God. Because your number one move at the top is Slash. So we, you would have lost Slash. And it would have been off that's, screen. That's my bread and butter. It is. Uh, you did lose Body Slam for Strength. But that's only because like someone needed to learn Strength. Like, honestly, someone had to. And for some reason, Venusaur cannot learn Strength. Yeah, because Venusaur sucks. But he does learn it in future gens. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> he can't learn it this one. Because in my mind, I was like, I could have swore he could learn strength, but it's because I'm thinking, like, a back in the day. Eventually, Pokemon got to the point where they're like, I guess any Pokemon that weighs more than 800 pounds has the power of strength. Yeah, that's fair. I'm falling for the male version of the Griggle Gambit with this Nidoran. Not no more. Yeah. Now one dude gets to join the female army of Nidorans. <laughs> I like good them. luck. I'm gonna give this to Abe. Thank you, Abe. Now you're in this long journey. Okay, let's see. Some more. Oh, there's Rayhorn. You know what? I'm gonna try. Oh no! The box is full. We've caught we've caught thirty Pokemon because I sw I switched to a too new many box. goddamn Nidorans. Apparently, <laughs> so we've wasted five hundred bucks or so, but it's fine because now we're gonna have to leave. Yeah, and... five hundred bucks ain't shit in Pokemon World. It's true. I pissed that out of my penis. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here, Chase. Yes. At some point, we're actually going to have to go through it also to get the item. No, I already did. Oh, okay, good. I did that beforehand just to make things easier. That's why you already have strength. And now for the ultimate show of just laziness, we will fly to the very place that we are at. <laughs> I'm going to walk all the way to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, because there's a bunch of fucking trees in the way. For some reason, Koga Place sucks because there's a bunch of trees everywhere. <laughs> He's a ninja, man. You gotta you gotta cut everything down if you want to get through his town. Yes. At the end, we will do a quick survey of all the Pokemon we've caught, but for now, let me just switch the boxes. Let's go into change box. Sure. Yes. Box three. Uh, I forget which game is it that lets you... Um, it just goes to the next box. I think that's the beginning of... Um, Maybe it's um, Ruby and Sapphire. I don't remember if it was. Yeah, it, it, that might be a Gen Three thing. I, I think it is. Cause it and is, man, that was a good feature. Yeah, it's a very good feature. Again, I will talk a lot of crap about those games, but they did introduce a lot of just nice features that would be better in other games. <laughs> All right, let's go here. Look at that fucking Chansey mocking me. Yeah, I forgot this place has a Pokemon Zoo, which seems like counterintuitive to the way the Pokemon yeah. world works. It's where um the Kabuto that we did not pick is right here. That was the fun thing I remember about it. That that way you could have his info in the Pokédex. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's the same you as how all the EVs are on Bill's computer. Exactly. Exactly like that. I mean, we'll go over here for a bit. Okay. Let's see who's up on the block. It's, of course, it's another execute. <laughs> right away. We only need a couple more Pokemon, and then we are good to stop. And guess who's ready to join the Nidoran party? 
Oh yeah. Join the box. Squad up. Squad! Aw, oh, come on. Join the squad, girl. You're welcome in the squad. <laughs> <laughs> we encourage everyone to join the squad. Exactly. Ah, oh, okay. It's alright. You'll come back. Everyone eventually joins the squad. <laughs> oh, another, another Tangela. Come on, get in the ball, Tangela. It's gonna be great when we go c try and catch Mr. Mime style and he's just gonna be uh, everywhere as we don't run into Mr. Mime. Can you catch a Mr. Mime? I thought you had to trade an Abra for it. Really? I thought that yeah. um, there was a one spot of grass that you could catch him. Pretty sure you have to trade an Abra for him. In Pokemon Yellow? Mm-hmm. So we're going to have to catch a, an Abra then. Or buy one from gambling. I mean, we can, you mean trade in our coins? Yes. And trade in our coins for some uh, good old perks. Uh, we'll look into that. I'll see. I'll look off off screen, but I could have swore there was a specific grass place we could have caught him. Well, that might change it up then, because if we can't catch him, we can't change his nickname. Oh, that's right. He's yeah. Mimian. So he might return to be one of the legendary uh, whales then. Nidoran joins the party. And this one will be... That one, Jake Guy. We'll go... There's no one. Yep, he is trade only. But he's actually for a Clefairy in yellow, not an Abra. He's an Abra in red and blue. Okay. We have Clef Oh, we don't have Clefairy because that's Veo. No, We're not we going to... We have we have Violet as a Clefable. I wonder whose decision was that. <laughs> but either way, we not we would not trade her for uh, Mr. Mime. We could not even name ourselves. Come on. Yeah. All right. He's back to being one of the three legendary whales. Yes. If you can guess the name of the other three legendary whales, which it should be obvious, but we'll be catching them soon, too. Well, we'll be catching them or killing them, depending on our mood at the time. <laughs> <laughs> depending on if they're as difficult as Connell was. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think, I think Connell might be the hardest dude we have to catch. Uh, let's see, I think this one, this is the final one. So this will be our last guy, and uh, this was a friend that I was specifically hoping that we would get um, Scyther for, because it would it would have been fitting so well, but we could not catch Scyther. This one goes to none other than... Actually, I'm going to start putting down the name, and then you tell me if that makes sense, why he would have been Scyther. Okay. Because uh, Knife Hand? Yes, because of knife <laughs> hands. I mean, really, to do justice to this, it should be Reed Torco. Yeah, it needs to just be Reed Torco. That will be also our message. That's Push the, the agenda at all times, even in the Pokemon Championships. Yeah, exactly. So, again, my ability to not know where any of these goddamn letters are. Alphabet's hard, man. I understand. It's true. I never learned it as a child. I just kind of <laughs> forget what comes after K. And then oh, I can't. It fits exactly. Read Torgo. Perfect. Read Torgo is transferred to the Bills PC. All right. I believe that's everyone. So, out the Safari Zone we go. Leaving forever. Here you go. Here's my balls. Let's do a quick look at the box situation. Here's my balls. <laughs> gotta give him up we're gonna fly again to actually we're gonna fly to saffron city because that will just be good for me for me to remember what i should do next because we're gonna i'm gonna have to train up mr mr eat your butt so he can be on the team <laughs> so he can fight sabrina with us yeah exactly so then sabrina's ultimate weakness is ass eating she did it she hides it well but <laughs> you look at her and you know if you know, you yeah. know. Yeah, she wears that on her face for sure. 100%. Well, first of all, let's go to box one where um, we can drop off Common Sore. Yes. Box one. Then we will deposit. Thanks for the team. Joining the team, Common Sore. <laughs> you done well. You tried your damnedest, that's for sure.
Yes. And to be fair, for a brief moment of time, you were pretty good. But then, uh, unfortunately, Blastos and Charizard... <laughs> for a brief moment, you were pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, Toast evolved and Toast ended up doing good without Flamethrower. So let's see. We got Abe. We got Flo. We got Sora. We got Josh. We got Eli. We got Condell Pint. We got Bunny. Oh. Pouty Muffin. Yowie Ma'am. Chief Saver. <laughs> not to be confused with Chef Saver, which would be something else. LA fan. Chef is nothing. That would not be confused with anything. Chief. Yes. Chef? Chef, <laughs> chef is the word. Not Chef. I mean, if you say so. We got Aminal! Exclamation point. Female. Male. <laughs> Big boy. That's, you got this backwards. It's male. Female. Did I? Oh, my bad. Male. Female. <laughs> That's right, cause, because male is the one with the penis. Male has the dick, yeah. Yeah, and female has, like, the little person, because she... Female is a person with no legs. Exactly. Fitting. Big boy. Cramp. Mr. Eat Your Butt. Which, really, together, looks like he's spelled, like, Mr. Ratty Get a Butt. <laughs> Valley. Snake. Ya boy, C.A. Master M. Super Vegeta, which was the first person we got. Super Vegito, not Super Vegeta. That's someone completely different. And finally go into the last one. Box three. We've got... Reed, Toriko, and Jake. Thank you everyone for joining us for what is now possibly the longest video me and Zen have ever made. <laughs> yeah, this might actually beat all of those where our intention is to talk for a very long time. Yes, it is. It is the longest and it was one hell of a journey. So... Join us next time when I will time skip and I will get Mr. Eat Ya Butt to take down Sabrina. The only way he knows how. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, friends and family. Nidoran Squad. Nidoran Squad!